What's going on guy? Aaron with Lansing Lawn Service. We are doing another gravel driveway today, another gravel driveway repair. So uh, let me turn you around and I'll show you what we got to do. All right guys, so this is probably the worst driveway on YouTube. We've got this huge puddle here, a huge, just a really big hole. So we're going to have to move a bunch of gravel down this way and from the other direction and we're gonna bring some of this gravel back into the drive here as you can see there's a lot of gravel over there on the edge we're gonna work these potholes up we're gonna get it fixed up so <clears throat> this is kind of we're gonna we're gonna slope the driveway kind of this way because can't really slope too much that way and this goes downhill so we, we can't slope water uphill so we're gonna slope it down and we're gonna fix it up we got a bunch of potholes up here so that's basically what we're gonna do here we're gonna get it all cleaned up and uh, get and look get it looking good for these people all right let's go all right guys so here we go right now as you can see here i am adjusting the drum i'm putting it down to the level that i want it uh, and the way i do that is i set the front wheels down and i move that drum down but as you will see here when you get too deep with the vent track anyway it will you'll grab too much it'll take too big of a bite with the the drum and it will actually shift you over to the side especially if you have it angled and so that's what's happening here that's why I keep shifting over and I, I crab walk with the Ventrac which you can do but it pushes you over so you can't turn you can't turn when you take too big of a bite so that's what's going on here in this video clip is I'm just taking trying to dig down too deep take too big of a bite so uh, you will see here in a little bit that I adjust that back up so that I can go a little bit faster I have learned since that if you just go down a half inch to an inch and just keep going over the driveway every time you go over the driveway fully you adjust it back down to another inch or half inch to an inch and you just keep working that driveway up and taking it lower and lower and lower until you get down to the bottom of those potholes. Now here, it looks like I'm not taking on or taking off too much, and I wasn't up near the, the front of the driveway. However, I'm just trying to move that gravel at that top edge of the driveway over. Make sure that you stay tuned to the end of this video because you're going to see before and after pictures. You're going to see what it looked like before, and then you're going to see what it looked like after. It is an amazing transformation to this very, very rough driveway. saw there is you see some yellow lines there on the driveway they have an invisible dog fence and so I'm trying not to go over that and so I just had to stay on this side of that line later on in the video I will go on the other side of that line and kind of break that up a little bit but I can't go very deep over there Now here in this big puddle, I still have to go through and I still have to work up the bottom of that big hole because you have to break up that structure of that pothole so that you can it won't hold that water anymore. Because what happens is it creates a bowl and then you, it just stuffs in there. Everything just compacts down into that hole. So you have to break up that surface of the pothole. That's why I always say I have to go down to the bottom of the pothole because you have to break that up.
I want to give a big shout out to my boys, Marcus and Levi. They both did a lot of filming for me on this job. Marcus ran the camera. As you can see, there's a huge rock down there that came out of the driveway. And what I am doing here is I'm trying to push gravel into this hole and displace the water. And it's really, that was a tough job. That was the biggest pothole that I've ever had to deal with. So I'm just trying to move aggregate down into that hole and fill it in. It's really tough. Uh, but we you'll see at the end that we did get that all filled in. Again here you see a good example of taking too big of a bite and it just shifts. You try to turn the vent track and it just crab walks. It just moves you to the side. So you can't take too deep of a bite with the vent track because it will just shove you off to the side. It's a very powerful machine but it's light enough where it's not going to hold that track unless you take a smaller bite. With this shot here, you can see the transformation starting to take place. I'm getting down to the bottom of those potholes. They're starting to disappear. And that's always really fun to watch in these videos because it's it, it, you can see the transformation bef happening before your eyes. And it's really, it's fascinating. Um, I just, I love doing driveway renovations for that very reason because you can see it transforming right before your eyes. It's like peeling an onion. It's really, it's, it's cool, only it doesn't stink and make your eyes water like an onion. So I, I love doing driveway renovations for that very reason. Here again, I am trying to move gravel into this hole and it's really soupy and muddy as you can see, but it's, it's also really satisfying to see that water push out of that hole. Uh, that's another thing I love about the Ventrac with the power rake is you can move that water with the gravel. It's really fascinating. I love it. But uh, yeah, that hole was a big problem. That was the biggest problem on the whole driveway and I did get it resolved, but it took a lot of time and it took me moving a lot of gravel to get that, that hole filled up. Now what you're seeing here is I am lowering the wings. The power rig has two wings, it has a wing on both sides, and you lower these to the very lowest setting when you want to move a lot of aggregate. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm getting ready to fill that hole Fill, cut some of this high spot out and move it down to that to that hole and move it the other direction to fill in another hole and it, it works really well it works best the ventrac works best 
when you pull it, when you pull the aggregate, that's when you can really move a lot of stuff. It works okay when you push, but it really pulls a lot of aggregate when, when you put those wings down and you pull it back. That's when you can really get a good bite of material and move a lot of material. It didn't really get shown on camera here, but that's how I filled most of those low spots was pu by pulling back just a ton of, of, of gravel because it was just very low. What I'm doing here, and the boys didn't get it good on camera, um, they did a good job of capturing the vent track, just going back and forth, but they didn't get a, do a good job of where the aggregate is going. So I am actually pushing this up to their paved portion of their driveway. I'm trying to, most paved driveways have that lip, and I'm trying to make a good transition between the gravel driveway and the, the pave the, the pavement so I, I'm just pushing some of this stuff forward and you can kind of see it there you can see a lot of rock there now I'm on the other side of the the uh, invisible fence here for the dogs just kind of breaking it up a little bit just trying trying to blend that driveway in so it all looks the same I'm not going down too deep there was only one pothole in this section and so I'm, I don't really need to dig it up too much and the pothole was very tiny so I just I went down a little bit just to grade it up a little bit grind it up loosen it up just that top level and kind of get it to look like the rest of the driveway so it turned out really nice you're gonna see that in the before and afters so I'm gonna be quiet now I'm gonna let you watch the rest of the video and I really hope you enjoy it, it it's uh, it's very fun to do these driveways. I've got a lot more of them coming up, and I, I really hope you like watching these because they're really fun to do just because of the transformation. You really get to see a good transformation out of these driveways. All right, guys, so we are done with this one. It's still kind of soupy. It needs to dry out a bit, but it's as good as we can get it. Um, I tried to really compact it, but just didn't compact super well up here where it's really wet. It was really wet here, if you remember right, and that was a super deep hole. I actually had to pull a bunch of gravel from this area here up here I mean a bunch I spent a long time pulling gravel up here to try and get that filled in filled back in with the existing gravel that they have um, the whole road goes this way so all the water should shed this way and run along this side and kind of down into the field so I figured out that was the best way to do it. Uh, they had a lot of big stone in here, but the rest of this driveway is gonna pack really nice. I mean, it's really nice. Um, it, it's gonna be a little dusty for a while until they get it packed down with the vehicles. But if you remember, we had a lot of water here that's gone. That, that worked out really nice and also this area there's a lot of water here and again i pulled a lot of gravel from up here and pulled it down here and also pulled some gravel from here and put it here so we kind of spread out the gravel used what we had um, they do have an electric dog fence 
that basically runs right where you see that line of stones there. So I wasn't able to get that part very well. There was a little pothole there that I wanted to fill in, so I got that, but I couldn't go deep at all there. Um, and I didn't go deep over here in this area. So just this area, the main driveway area is what I really dug up and focused on, but I think it turned out good. Um, they may need some more gravel here eventually, but right now it looks pretty good. This spot here is still a little low, but I think that water is going to shed this way. And once this is all gone, because we had a ton of rain here the other day, but once this is all dried up, when it rains, that water will drain right down here and it won't be a problem. So I think that is it for this one, guys. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.